Hey, welcome to a new episode. Uh, today is a really special day. It's another one of those videos that I've been meaning to do ever since I started YouTube. I've always had the want to come down here just outside of Nara and kind of chill out with my good friend Casey from Shirt Sucked In. Uh, we go way back, uh, you know, he used to work uh, with me at Speed Hunters back in the day. And ever since then, he's gone on to create his own brand and his own life here in Japan. He's basically kind of achieved the Japanese dream of coming over here and, you know, drifting with the best of them at Mayhan and in the process building some really cool cars with some really cool people. And uh, I'm just going to be spending the day here at his shop, uh, kind of just talking about you know, his progression as he moved to Japan and set up Shirt Sucked In and just the whole life of, you know, coming to Japan and drifting and doing what you love. So I just drove about an hour and a half with the 964 in 36 degree heat with no aircon, but it was worth the torture. And uh, finally I'm here. I have a bit of time to kind of look around at what Casey has achieved here. And uh, basically just, you know, sit down, have a chat and go through all the cars that he's building. There's so much out here to look at. Uh, mainly S chassis, of course, his uh, probably most well-known car here that he's been driving for five years. And of course, some other cars that he's built together with N style and just kind of look through at his collection of cars and how he's created his own brand shirt sucked in which is uh, you know has a massive following in japan and around the world and uh have a bit of fun here's the man himself what's up man hey young good to see you good to see you good to see you danish finally yeah <laughs> in a minute and you know i think we should probably like spend a bit of time kind of chatting for sure later on maybe Definitely we'll take do. a look at your shop first and uh kind of have a look at your cars as well what you're doing yep. what's coming next and uh yeah have a bit of a you can get uh you can get all the secrets yeah there you go <laughs> so let's start here with the first car in the workshop what well, tell us a little bit about it this one this shell is an old D1 street legal car yeah. and body from maybe 2008, 9, 10 yeah. ish. Uh, it's from Osaka. Um, a friend of Shane's that used to work with Shane purchased it, a foreigner. He owned it for probably four or five years, got into Mayhan and everything. And then I purchased it and it was my backup car from yeah. the main one over there. Mm. Um, and I'll be competing in D1 Lights in Mayan in September. Yep. And for that, one of the requirements is you need paperwork for the car. Sure do. Yeah, you got to show it's registered. Got it. The car's somewhat straight, so reshelled the old practice car into a 60,000 kilometer shell. Yeah. And this one is going to become the new main car. So just got back from paint from Nelke. Tried to make it look like a ocean, mm -hmm. candy blue and put the engine and stuff in on Monday onwards. Nice. And we're going to be seeing this at Tokyo Autosol next yep, year as well, right? That's sick. Yep. All right, I guess we'll uh, step into the workshop, have a look. No worries. At the stuff lying around. Look at this. Is this the engine going in this car? This is the engine going in this car, yeah. What's the spec on this? So it is a HKS 2.1. Yeah. Uh, pistons. Step one cams, head gasket, injectors, and a 1999 HKS 3037. Oh, nice. That makes 500 horsepower, 1.6, with R34 gearbox. Super simple, just pistons, head gasket. R34 gearbox? R34 gearbox, yeah. Mm. Super simple, super reliable. And you got some decent sponsors on board this year? Coil Rad, yeah. which have been helping for probably have to be about seven years now. Oh man. Uh, stance, obviously, suspension, which yeah. have been in the car for probably about the same time, six, seven years. Uh, D-Max, all the aero, have yeah. been helping for probably three, three, four years. Um, and that's about it. Oh, that's awesome. And obviously, end style with paint, maintenance, yeah. uh, Shane, stacked racing, yeah. uh, GCG for turbo overhauling and end parts and whatnot. And for now, that's, that's about it, but definitely- that's pretty cool. 
definitely in the look for more. But you know, as a driver in Japan, like how would you say the, the whole sponsorship thing is here? Is it really hard to do Number, racing? It's and difficult not to play the foreigner car, but it's, it's, it's difficult to do it, obviously off your own two feet. Mm from yourself to the company. It's yeah. better to have someone like uh, Noki, for example, like my senpai to help forecast what you're trying to, sure. you know, propose to yeah. the companies, um, which obviously is a, a management thing and everything for myself or whoever's helping, but uh, that's something I'm about to, a, a bridge I'm about to cross, I think, whether yeah. it's through someone else or I build a portfolio myself and put that out into the world, but yeah. we're about to start figuring that out, especially if I'm doing D1 in this yeah. thing, yeah. support's definitely going to be needed, especially if I want, because I, I want to go to win. Yeah. I don't want to half-ass anything from here sure. on in. Sure. Motorsport is hard, man. Motorsport is hard, especially this day and age. Yeah. Expensive, tiring, getting older, parts get more expensive. Yeah. But everything's harder to everything's find. Everything's harder, but, but, the, but the outcomes make it more worth it than what it, than what it ever has. Yeah. Let's remember, step right? in to the office. Do you want me to come Shoes in? off. Yeah, please. Yeah. Talk us through it. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. You have a really cool space, I have this to say. Is. Every time I visit you, I just want to stay longer, <laughs> but I never, stuff. I never can. <laughs> like, I think I've been here twice, and every time, it was like for like 30 minutes. Yeah, it's like, always. sorry, I've got to go off and shoot the some very few, The very few people that have come have pretty much said the same thing. Just want to yeah. relax, do a barbecue, yeah. sit down, put some music on. Yeah. But that's sort of the vibe I want. Most, most car shops in Japan are small, they're full of stuff. That was my sort of goal with this. So one of the things when I first came to Japan and you go to the mountains or Daikoku or wherever, you'd look in a car and the first thing would be the smell. Yeah. The second thing would be a cool seat, a cup holder, shift knob. There'd be, there'd be so much going on with your senses that you would A, want to know more, B, want to stay and C, just want exactly that. Yeah, totally so with that. an office and a, more or less a working space, yeah. I sort of want to recreate that with whoever comes and just to be comfortable and motivational for me to work in. Yeah. And you've certainly created it. So all these Somewhere. bits on the yep. floor are going straight back the, on this. Yeah. So the old main car is pretty much going to look exactly the same. Yeah. The bonnet's going to be different, and like things like the engine room and the interior of the car are going to be a different color blue, as you saw earlier. Yeah. You got the dash here as well. The dash, yep. And this doubles up as your studio. Yeah, office. here, my uh, $80 Amazon setup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tori has it. Tori has it. Has it. <laughs> and you got all your merch here. Yeah, these are some of the old ones. You do a bit of RC drifting as well? Not at all, but this is yeah. just a oh, just like a, a replica of the <coughs> of the main car. They got done as a demo car to market for the RC kit. Yeah, nice. I do love the bench. The bench is cool. The JDM Showa era bench. They're very expensive, but luckily enough, I got it gifted to me from a friend. Oh, that's awesome. Because it was, once again, He's had it for, I think, 15, 20 years. No. Yeah, this is usually what you find at like old bus <laughs> yeah, stops literally. in the countryside. Yeah. Usually in pieces. Usually, yeah, rotten. Yeah. <laughs> Office <laughs> setup. This is where I try and, try and get things done, try and stay motivated. Yeah. Every day, spend probably between 8 and 15 hours here a day. Yeah. Monday to, Monday to Sunday. Normally, if there's Mayhan or hanging out with friends or my girlfriend, it's pretty much here on the computer. Yeah. Good music going, good smells going. Because, uh, like I mentioned on the intro, so me and Casey go back a long way. Cause, long, uh, long time. If you don't know, he's obviously started with photography, and I guess we hired you in what, what was that, like 2010? Speed Hunters yeah. would have been, no, nah, it was before 2010 because I was still in school. Yeah, yeah, I remember. It would have been 2000, I'm going to say the start of 2009, yeah. maybe then 2008, maybe. So, first time I went to World Time Attack in Sydney, he came along. Yep. Together. And I was like, who the hell is this kid? <laughs> <laughs> Aussie representative. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The first Aussie guy from Speed Hunters. Yeah. yeah. And you obviously still do photography today. Not as much. More but... or less my own stuff. Yeah. However, like I was saying to you a bit earlier, doing a bit more YouTube stuff, not just the, the raw onboard stuff, more or less filming, I guess, B-roll and yeah. more or less explaining what's going on. I've been having my camera out more, which is... I'd say rekindled that motivation to, all right, I'm going to go spend five minutes and take photos of what's going on. Because yeah. like yourself, you've been here for a lot longer than me, but things become, I'm not going to say normal, but for me these days, I'm trying to drive and, yeah, you just, and, and you become start, a driver. You start normalizing yeah. things. And when, when you don't have too much confidence in driving, 
I don't want any sort of boundaries to interfere with that. So if yeah. I go driving, I don't, I don't even want to look at my camera, take yeah. my camera, put it on charge. Yeah, I totally get Because I'm going to be, I want to be 110% sure that the car's ready and not focus on anything else. Yeah. However, over the years, like we spoke about earlier, it's now or never to start filming, take take yeah, photos absolutely. again. But more or less as photography goes, like I try and help Nelky with D1 when the timing's right. Yeah. Uh, Kaido racer events and whatnot. Yeah. And obviously all my own stuff, my own marketing, film campaigns, sure. studio stuff. Yeah. And you've uh, started your own YouTube lately as well. Like it's, I've had the channel for probably four or five years. However, I just want to bring that into my routine to start doing it. Sure. You know, once a week, twice a week, yeah. just to build on. It's a new challenge. Show, show people what you get up to. Yeah, today, exactly. Because yeah, a lot of people, all, like I said before, the, the few people that do come here, that I don't post a lot. I post, obviously, my driving products on the internet, but a lot of people want to see what I do, how yeah. I do it, how I've come here and whatnot. So maybe it's time to start opening up a little bit. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we'll put the link to your channel yeah, sweet. in the That'd be appreciated. So if you want to see some raw driving. and Give, give Casey a follow, of course. That'd be much appreciated. Our biggest... Biggest one, yeah, yeah you is got Battle Magazine. Yeah, heap of them. So. I got probably I think they got all of them in Australia. The whole collection oh, from really? '96 till 2005. That's crazy. Um, and then I guess out of the trophies, this is probably the probably the best one there. That's when I won All Stars in 2022. Nice. And we should probably mention Mehan is what. 25 yeah. minutes on the road? Yeah, 25 minutes up the hill, yeah. yeah. Up yeah. the hill, yeah. Up the hill. Yeah, I cannot believe I still haven't been to Mayhem. I've come. I've been telling you for years. I, that's crazy, it's crazy. <laughs> I'll get there. You I'll will. There. This year, I'll yeah. definitely come. Have to. All the other, there's so much to look at here, man. It's absolutely crazy. Take your time. <clears throat> the wheels, man. Look there's at only this. a small part of it. It's only a small, small collection part. of it. Oh, oh, well, there, there's a bit of my photography. <laughs> that's sick. I never seen Takayari Deppa. That's so like that. good. <laughs> With a little megaphone at the end. <laughs> Absolutely amazing <laughs> that car. Like it, it's like a it's like a RC car in person. Yeah, I bet. Do you ever go to Nematsu? Nematsu? No, no. I, on I the need third on the thirtieth of every year. Yeah, we need to. To Yamanashi and back. Yeah. There's also a big Dekotora meet in Ibaraki. Ibaraki is big in, for Dekotora. Uh, I think it's around Golden Week time. Golden Week. Yeah. Golden Week in May or? Yeah, Golden Week in, in May. Okay. Yeah. So we'll definitely have to do that next year. For sure. So much to see in Japan every time. Every year. So I notice you have uh, quite a lot of boxes here from Ray's. What's, so what's yeah, on one there? of the biggest inspirations I look up to is obviously Noki Nakamura. Yeah. Back in the day, D-Max Ray's, you know, pink and purple, fluoro wheels. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite wheels for looks and drifting is the, the 57Ds. Right. Because they're light, they're not reverse, so to change tires is easy. Uh, they did a rerun of the pink and yellow 57Ds. Have to be two or three years ago. Yeah. And that's why I bought, I think there's, I think there's 12 or 14, six or seven pairs. You're just holding there. on to them. Yeah, haven't even opened any of them. 17s. Yeah, good way to do it. Use them one day, maybe. Yeah. Maybe on the lights car. Yeah. That's but it. yeah, for now, they're at, uh, mixed in with the furniture. It's become a part of your <laughs> of the shed. little cave here. <laughs> and then all, all those over there as well. These are very, very, very old uh, GTC gainers. Oh, I remember when very, they were. Very, this, very, uh, very rare. Mickey, Mickey yep. Lip. I've just collected them over the years from Nelki, Yahoo Auctions, local people. We'll take a look at some of Casey's cars in a bit more detail. He's got so many out here. I do love this S13. I can't wait to see when you're done with this. So you were telling me this has a really, really special engine. Very, right? very rare engine that was. I've got scans of the magazines. So it was built in, I think, between 2000, sorry, 1999 and 2002. Yeah. And it was basically a, a standard SRDE. And they did everything by the stage. So the first stage was tune the engine normally and then step one cams, tune the car. Next thing was step two. So they followed the, every step Everything. In, the, in the magazine. So basically whatever Tomei were producing at the time for this engine, they would go step by step and use it as, so I it guess, pretty a massive much a marketing. Development engine yeah. for that. Yeah. And this is the original engine from that time. So it's basically a crate motor. So it's step three head, 272s, 
uh, 2.2 bottom, so 87 mil pistons, yep. crank rods, uh, head gasket, the Tome 4 throttle. And when they were doing the, because obviously Tome's got the engine tuning room, yep. they built a one-off manifold oh, wow. for this car. So basically when I, I don't know, I don't know if you should put this in the video or not, but it should be all right. So when I went and picked up this car and engine, yep. she had the this manifold in the boot and she said, I, probably shouldn't be selling it to you because it's a one-off and maybe she got it gifted to her. Mm. But yeah, it's a, from, from my knowledge, from the previous owner of this engine, that's a one-off manifold built by Tomei for this engine to make the most amount of power they could have yep. out of this engine. And you were saying they actually measure the power, right? Yeah, in, 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 the, um, in the magazine, it's got from step one cams all the way to 2.2, all the power figures and everything. I think it made on the engine Dyno 260 PS. Jesus. And then I got it tuned recently with uh, an FCON at Diversion yeah. from Satoshi Sun that made two, 216 at the wheels. So probably about 250, 260 at, yeah. at the engine. That's amazing. So it's almost uh, 100 horsepower per liter. Yeah. 2.2. And I bet it sounds mental. It's amazing, yeah. Just yeah. all intake noise because it's a yeah. quiet exhaust. And yeah. That's sick. Basically a dream, dream NA car. And this is, this is going to be what? Your, uh... This is going to be a, a car that has air conditioning, not too loud because you know, I'm getting old, yeah. like intake noise and I guess a car that I'm going to use for marketing. Got yeah. It, yeah. And color wise, you're going to be doing the same? Color wise, for now, I'm going to go two tone. Two tone. Just the bumpers, side steps and the rear bumper and the hood. Yeah. Um, and then after that, I've got a color in mind which I'm not too sure of. I'm thinking something like this with oh, full black sick. wheels or yeah. silver. That's sick. And you were telling me the, the hood is also quite special. Garage, yes, yeah. It's carbon so fiber. These are, yeah, carbon fiber. It's, I don't know, wait, it's very, very, very light. Very rare from what I've been told. You can see the carbon peak out there. So we'll do our best to try and, try and pull all that back. Yeah. So it's a very interesting design. I don't think it's I've ever very seen interesting. anything like this on an S13. That's pretty crazy. All right, what are we looking at next? Next we can look at maybe the black car. Yep. I'd say up until now, people have maybe known the brand and the company and social media for my S13s on small wheels. Yep. Um, so before this, I had the beige S13, yep. which is built in Australia because I'm obviously, I'm obviously Australian. And really? Like, I would never have said. You wouldn't it? You can't tell? <laughs> Come on, Dino. Um, so basically, in short, the beige car I shipped over in 2016 for a big event at Mayan. Uh, long story short, that got crashed. We can maybe talk about a bit more in depth yeah, later. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a proper sit down yeah, later um, in the chat. I got crashed. <clears throat> I wanted to keep as much as I could from that car because I'm a very... Uh, what's the word? When you can't let go of something. Bit of a hoarder. Uh, sentimental. sentimental value. Yeah. So most of those parts are in this car. So this is basically the version two of the beige car in Australia. Yeah. Um, I bought it from a guy in Osaka. Um, very similar to the beige car, but it's a bit more aggressive, bigger engine, bigger cams, pistons, over fenders with nine, nine J, 10 J, neg 30, neg 40 wheels, SSR of course. Oh, I love the look here. A B wave. Trunk spoiler. So realistically, my plan was, you know, back in the day was to forever drive these types of cars because yep. A, they look cool. Uh, you learn a lot from driving them because they're NA. Um, but obviously, I'm in Nara. Uh, Mayhan's close. Yeah, makes so things sense. took a bit of a turn for more Mayhan stuff mm. rather than this. Holy jeez. There's an dude. oven in there. I'd love to know the temperature in there. It'll probably be like 70 oh. degrees easy. It's 40 out here. Yeah. There we go. Hatsu! Oh wow, that's sick. Okay, so this is a, once again, similar to the two-tone, a SR20 DE. Yeah. Uh, it's got bigger cams than that one. It's got two eight twos, metal head gasket, and N1 pistons. N1 pistons? Yeah, so crazy curve, crazy compression. Right. I did buy it off Yahoo as a complete engine. Mm. Um, Got it tuned with Nefcon. It's got a, a Nismo six-speed in it now with four nine, but unfortunately, it's making some noise. Oh. So I've, I've had this car maybe five or six years now, and I think I've driven it four times. Jeez. So 
from now we'll get it rebuilt again yeah. and hopefully make some content with it because people love the na stuff i love this yeah car. it looks so and cool. then this is a big important thing of the car this is you know nigel yep uh engineered the slide yeah made that for me one off yeah i've been to his place car. in melbourne yeah back in uh 2018 i think so the first time i came to japan was with him and the insane drifter group yeah. do you remember seeing them at, at, at uh at Matsuri? Matsuri? Yeah. yeah of course Matsuri, was that 2010 10, 2010 yeah. aki yeah, yeah. So that's a very important, he put a little <coughs> custom plate on it for me and whatnot. So massive thank you to Nigel. Because yeah, the dream was, even with the beige car, was to have uh, an NA engine with throttles and a massive manifold, you know, like 4AG stuff. Yep. So we're close, just got to get it rebuilt and then try again, I guess. That's it. Well, when you get it done, we'll do a proper shoot sure. on this. The plan is to get Reggio on this so I can actually... You know, if you guys come, just go for a cruise and oh, yeah, sweat, our, sweat our bums off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, a very important car a very important for your progression car. here in Japan. It's in a bit of a... Um, Sorry, State. I wouldn't say naughty <laughs> corner, but I guess in a... It looks like we're in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe two or two... I'd say probably two months ago now, yeah. I decided to pull this car down uh, for a number of reasons. Number one, it's got the back cut off and it's all pipe frame so anytime there would be a little bit of damage redoing all the air on all the tabs with the welding was getting difficult to keep the car looking presentable mm -hmm. for events like all stars or d1 divisional i guess if you have a look from the front you can sort of see how bent the whole rail is oh it's whole, God, wholly yeah. twisted up it's all that, twisted yeah. up but this car as a whole has taught me almost everything so i purchased this car I think six years ago, a couple of months ago, off Nelki. Right. Um, as a fully running car, 3037 F-Con R33 gearbox. Gone through three or four engines, Jeez. a couple of gearboxes, maybe three, three diffs. I've done five All-Stars with it. I've done D1 Divisional. I went to D1 GP in Taiwan with this wow. last year. It's so it's seen, got a lot of history. It's seen some use. It has seen some use, but it's not done. The plan is to just use what we need off it for now, uh, keep it, and in the future just weld everything back up and keep it as a practice car. Yeah. But I've had a lot of people message me asking asking to buy it, but I can't do it. No. Nah. Way, way too much. Once again, like I was saying before, man. yeah, way, way too special. You're on the way to Mayhem with this truck. Yeah, yeah, so Jordan, good friend of mine, very, very, very good driver, known him for a long time from New Zealand. Yeah. Um, he's been putting a lot of time and effort into Mayhem lately. And he was on the way to Nelki's Sokokai mm -hmm. a couple of days ago, and unfortunately his truck blew up. Oh man! So because I've got some space here, he kindly asked if he if he could park it here for a few days or a week. And yeah, that's why it's here. And this one here? This one is a car I bought maybe a year and a half ago. Super straight, uh, paperwork. So basically just a backup car that I'm, mm -hmm. whatever parts come off the main car that are outdated or old, they're going into this to uh, potentially send overseas to start doing some overseas driving or oh, events and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what this one's for. So we've taken out Casey's uh, GX61 out for a drive and we're just going to run over the car, just to exp explain what you've done to this or you know what this car is all about because it's a rare one in Japan. This is a rare one, yeah. It's a, um, I'm only 32 years young but it's a, a big one ticked off the list in terms of a, a dream car. Uh, it's a GX61 Mark II uh, Corona Eagle Mask in the in the rare two-tone yeah, brown silvery -tone. goldy i guess you could say yeah coilovers in the front shocks and springs with a uh, adjustable perches in the back and then the all-time ssr mark threes yeah same as the black car, actually 910 j but 14. yeah neg neg 20 snake 30 neg 40. it's just a special looking car from 
an era where you know sedans were the shit. Well, like, yeah. Everybody used yeah. to like off of one platform. Yeah. They used to do like four different. How many models variants? Like Similar to high aces, I guess. Like yeah. I'll, I'll look at these like high aces. There are so many variants that, you, that you, more or less you don't even see these days. It just uh, it just sits so nice. Look at this. And you, you actually plan to do more to this, yeah? So next, well, it was actually meant to go to a friend's workshop in Hyogo last month. Right. But drifting takes more priority than this. Sure. This, this looks good at the moment, it works, it drives. Um, but the plan is to basically cut all the rails, raise all the members, uh, engine member, gearbox member, remember diff, raise all that up. Fuel tank too. Uh, fuel tank should be okay. 61s yeah. are pretty good yeah. in terms of going low. Uh, and then basically do metal fenders on the back, like a little bit higher and a lot a lot smaller, and then yeah. run a 11J. 11J. With a two, two, three or a two, four, five. So make it look nice and yeah. nice and square at the back. And of course, what makes these special? No pillars, front and back. Oh no, it does. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> And the velour interior, man. Oh my God, that's the dark. Like I've got some cool seats for it in the shed, which you might have saw earlier, but it's, Are you gonna it's change? too comfy. Yeah, like, I bet, yeah. And then you've got the Mizuno Works. Mizuno Works, of course. Steering wheel, discontinued item. 28, 28 centimeter. Cool digital dash from the 80s. Nice shifter. What year is this again? I think it's 83. 83. Yeah, car with all the Showa. <laughs> Look at this. Ongaku. The CD pouch. <laughs> so I don't listen to any like updated music in this. So when I get in this, I you, you, it's a, it's full a into machine. this era. Like you even Just got to the, get the full experience. The original sticker. Yeah, it's still on there. Brand new. Look at that. That's crazy. How's that survived 40 years? To my knowledge, it's still. It, I know it has been painted in parts, but for the most part, it's still original. That's why. Paint everything. And the two-tone brown plastics across the dash as well. And they did one other one other variant on the 61s, I believe, where you could call this like a what a brown and a beige, like a tan. Yeah. And they did a red and like a burgundy, which I also really oh, love. I think I've seen yeah, the you, you would have yeah. seen it, yeah. yeah. Can uh, can we take a look at the engine? Yeah, of course. SR20 in this one. <laughs> Doesn't sound like <laughs> it. It's got an intake. So basically just a factory one GGE twin yeah. cam with unknown manifold, but that's another thing we're going to change. Hopefully Mizuno works will do, or trust. Oh, Mizuno one. Yeah, so Mizuno so works yeah. sounds good. Yeah. But yeah, just, this is, it's Simple. factory with intake, yeah. Oh, manifold. you got an air horn. Yeah, I haven't, uh, you had to figure that one out. Oh, you don't yeah. know where the switches are? <laughs> oh, you got five trumpets there. I really want to get them going, but for sure. And what's the spec on the wheels? They are 14 by nine, negative 27, and 14 by 10, negative 38. Plenty of stretch. I think they're 175, I believe, front and rear. Like, when we're following you, all we see is the actual rim. Is the rim, rim yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think that's a good amount of stretch. Any, oh, that's any, good. Any more and I'd be, you know, 32-year-old 32, 32 Casey a little bit worried, but I feel that's, I feel that's uh, reasonable, still safe. Yeah, I think it looks amazing. I reckon we should probably take it to another spot. Yeah, let's do it. Get some more beauty shots of it. Yep. While we still have light. Sounds good. Money to, money to
what an amazing spot to end this video dude you know the locations around here <laughs> Holy crap. Only you, bros. <laughs> only you. man what a place just look at the water here it's like a perfect venue for a bit of cooling off swimming barbecue spot I'm gonna say like a third of that. It's yeah. Been obviously all the rain. Sure. So it's just pushed out to the banks. And then of course we have this to enjoy as well. Perfect Japanese venue to end the video at. I gotta thank you, man. It's been awesome. No worries at all. Anytime. Awesome, awesome time. We'll definitely be back for yeah, more. Yeah, for sure. Anytime. Uh, Doors always open for you guys. Always a nice uh, kind of place to come and chill. I'll check, come back and check out uh, Naoki's new, new place as well. Yeah, yeah. And, a new, and a new place. Yeah. Be ready for that. So uh, I reckon we should probably drive back. I'll yep. jump in with you. Yep, sweet. Let's and, do that. And uh, head back to the shop. Sounds good. So we'll do that. So the thing to be doing in these cars, of course, is avoiding holes. imperfections. Holes. Imperfections in the road. And Japanese roads aren't the best. They're not as good as what you think they are. It is, all, we get very lucky it, is a, it is a lie. I don't mind it at all, no, it is what it is. Yeah. Got to compensate in, in, in one way or another. Absolutely. <laughs> the way it looks, I guess it's a small price to pay. That's it, yeah. It's still comfortable, it does bounce around, it keeps you awake. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's old out here, the street lights, telephone boxes, and nothing's changed. Still got the shore here. Yeah, very sure. Might get a bit of sun up here. heat today doesn't it? That's amazing. That is absolutely That's unreal. Really surreal. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been an awesome time here with Casey and we're just gonna end this video with a beautiful sunset over 